What up guys, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Bob McFred. Um, you see the title of the video. So we're gonna be talking about some shit that needs to be discussed. Been getting a lot, a lot, a lot of attention on the videos as of recently, and I love the attention. Whether it be good or bad, honestly. Um, Cause it's exposing a lot of things. So with that being said, first I gotta say, rest in peace to PNB Rock, bro. I seen the videos of that shit. That whole story is crazy, bro. Rest in peace to PNB Rock. Any further into the video, you see the haircut, fresh fade with the part, $6 for the haircut. Now you will get some fresh ass barbers in Brazil, bro. Do not get it fucked up. They know how to operate with the clippers. You feel me? Yeah, they know what they are doing, bro. Ball fade, you know, as usual, but yeah. If you guys want to know which barber I use in Salvador, I use only two different people. When one is not available, I go to the other one. There's a ton of barbers, but I only go to two. So if you guys want to know, let your boy know in the comments. Had to bring the swoop, swoop vibes in the building, bro. But anyways, back to the video. For the life of me, I cannot understand why black men receive so much hate for traveling, bro. I have yet to fully understand why I don't do shit on my videos, but post what I do every day. And niggas hate me and they talk shit and they post bullshit and they post reaction videos to, to not even my videos. It's about shit that's on other people's videos, right? I have yet to fully understand why black men give a fuck what other black men are doing if they travel for sex, who gives a fuck, bro? Let them live their life. If they travel to go do anything, whether it be leaving the U.S. to go participate in whatever the fuck they want to do in another country, why do you care, bro? Why? I, I have yet to understand why so many men, 60% of men care more. I would probably say 70%. 30%, 30 to 40% gonna be women, 60 to 70% gonna be men dogging other men for traveling. It don't matter what the fuck they go overseas for, bro. If they wanna go overseas to fuck working girls, who gives a fuck? Why do you care, bro? You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't get it. I never, I never understood this shit. Somebody please tell me why it matters to them, whatever the fuck they do. Number two, for all you niggas who think that I traveled all the way over to Brazil for this, that, that nigga, I live here. I lived here for a year. So please, if you're going to be speaking on my situation, know your fucking facts, bro. I've lived here. I'm not a tourist, I'm not a sex tourist. I'm not on vacation. I'm not visiting. I live here. So get your fucking facts straight, bro. Number three. <laughs> Number three. Why do you black men in America feel that if a nigga travels to Brazil, Colombia, Asia, any country, that he is supposed to be with a model? I don't understand this shit. Are there beautiful women overseas? Absolutely, bro. But niggas ain't leaving the states to get rid of the women, or get away from the women in the states just because they're ugly. There's a lot of beautiful women in the States, bro. Let's not, be, let's not call cap, right? There's beautiful women in the States. But the problem is, is this right here. Niggas is not trying to search continuously, high and low, needles in haystacks to find a good woman, bro. When you can easily go overseas and find equal women that are just as beautiful and less of a fucking headache, bro. So... Niggas have so much shit to say about y'all go overseas and y'all have, y'all put limits on the women that we are with, right? For whatever reason that y'all think the women are basic or whatever the fuck, but these women will bend over backwards and do anything without half the fucking requirements that the bitches in the States require, bro. But for some reason, niggas have so much to say about the chicks that be in my videos or other niggas' videos or whatever the case. But y'all niggas never post a goddamn receipt once. Even while you in the States, bro, you never post receipts. But you make YouTube content, but you never post receipts with the bitches that be around you. Why? Why do y'all never post receipts, bro? 
At least I'm a content creator and I post what the fuck I, you see what I do, bro. You know what I'm saying? And there's a lot of bitches that I don't post just for the simple fact they don't want to be on YouTube and they don't want their image out. But if you with me in person, nigga, you will see these bitches, bro. Anyways, I don't have shit to prove to nobody. I live my life and I, and I do what I do. The niggas who rock with me, the niggas who fuck with me, fuck with me, bro, period. I, it's, this, is, this is really for the dudes who have so much shit to say about travel guys. And white men been traveling for fucking years, bro, and never received hate. All the shit that they've done traveling here, colonizing here, colonizing there. But y'all got so much shit to say about niggas traveling. Why? Why? Is it jealousy? Is it rage? Is it because you can't do it and other men have the finances to do it consistently? What the fuck is it, bro? Somebody please let me know. One of y'all niggas that hate, please let me know why you have so much to say that a dude leaves the United States and he still earns dollars and travels to another country and lives in another country or frequents another country. Why do you care? Why? Why do you care, bro? Please let me know in the comments why you care so much. If he travels just because he likes history, why do you care? If he travels, if he just want to fuck with working girls, why do you care? If he lives overseas and wants to just be completely done with the U.S., why do you care? If he travels just solely for women, why do you care? Why do you care, bro? For whatever reason he travels, why do you care? You know what I'm saying? I don't get it, dog. I, I really don't. At this point, I don't really give a fuck, but like, I just see it so much of people tagging me and shit that people post a mind. They got so much shit to say. Why do you care? You know what I'm saying? Why do you care, bro? I, I, y'all, these niggas will sit here and say, a chick that's in my video is a four, but y'all never post receipts of y'all's chicks. And by the way, not one bitch I posted in my video was a four. And y'all know exactly who he talking about. He talking about the chick that I put the do-rag on and that, that was teaching her to do the do-rag. She's not a four, bro, by any means. We know that shit. Like, so, nigga, she is feminine as fuck, friendly, cooperative. Nigga, she checks in with me. If, she, if, if it's something that I want, she gonna make sure, hey, is this something that you want? She, she, she looks for, she seeks my approval first, bro. <laughs> and she's naturally beautiful. She don't wear makeup. She got naturally fucking real hair, nigga. She don't wear fake eyelashes. None of that shit, bro. And she wild, bro. Like, nigga, she, bro, she's a home run. And niggas have so much to say about it. I don't, I don't understand. What, who do y'all want me to be with, Tyra Banks? Y'all want me with Tyra Banks? You know what I'm saying? Niggas be expecting me to post dimes. They expect niggas to post 20s, like 20 pieces and all this type of shit. I could easily post that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not that I can't post it. A lot of these chicks don't even, I, and as much as, as much, as you guys truly don't want to believe the shit, a lot of these chicks, I would say 50% love to be on camera and 50% do not want to be on camera, bro. Whether they're beautiful or not, they do, they'll take pictures, but they will not want to be on a YouTube video. But they'll take pictures at the beach, they'll take pictures here and there, you know. But for somebody else's channel, somebody else's shit, they truly just don't want to be on the shit. It's unfortunate because I would love to show these bitches to y'all, but <laughs> at this point, I don't have shit else to prove, honestly, you know? But I just had a few questions of why so many black men give a fuck what other black men do with their money, their resources, their time, their energy, their effort. Why? With their passport, why do y'all care, bro? Why do y'all give a fuck? And if you're gonna be speaking on my shit, make sure y'all put this nigga live there. Y'all niggas do this, this blah, 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 blah. But that nigga vibing with Fred, he live in Brazil. So I'm not on vacation, bro. I'm not a sex tourist. So for all y'all niggas who keep saying that stupid shit, you sound dumb as fuck. And for all you old ass niggas that keep posting videos about me, bro, y'all niggas are lame as fuck. Lame. Lame, bro. Lame, 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 lame. 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 Y'all niggas be starting YouTube... 
This nigga, I don't even remember his nigga's name. This nigga started a YouTube channel and his first video was about me. Another nigga, so people in my group be sending me videos that these niggas be talking shit about me. I don't understand why y'all be talking shit about me, bro. <laughs> like, I mind my fucking business. I'm not, on, I'm not on YouTube beefing with other YouTubers. I'm happy for every nigga who travels, bro. I don't give a fuck what, what y'all do when y'all travel. The fact that y'all can get out and travel makes me happy. You feel me? It's, a, I, it's the people who either old as fuck who got so much shit to say or the niggas who don't have passports or they have them but they don't use them. These three niggas have so much shit to say. I don't understand it. Y'all niggas need to experience something, bro. Because it's clear that y'all never been anywhere. Because if you've been to Brazil, either A, you didn't get attention like that, or you was paying for attention. I don't pay for shit. I don't pay. Bro, I can eat. I, I need y'all niggas to understand, bro. Only thing I pay for in Brazil is when I take a bitch to go get something to eat, or we go to the beach. You are required off top to do that shit. I mean... Nigga, let's be 100. The niggas in Brazil who wine and dine do the same shit. So for you, it's no exemptions. You got more money. So of course, you're going to be whining and dining, bro. It's up to you if you want to or not. But as far as working girls and all that bullshit, nigga, I'm not doing that. I could easily go and pay top dollar model bitches to be in my videos for a video and I pay them bitches for their time, $50, $60, $70, whatever the case. But I'm showing y'all normal females because I promote normal females. So for all y'all niggas talking about sex workers and all this blah, 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 tricking shit, no nigga, I fuck with regular girls, bro. Regular females. So stop with all the bullshit, cap, and all the, all the negative shit, bro. That's the easy way out. I could easily go get Working girl models that are fine, especially in Salvador. These bitches are bad. I didn't see them, bro. They bad. So I can easily get them and put them in my videos. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to show y'all the regular guy can come to Brazil and have fun with regular girls. You know what I'm saying? I promote regular girls. So why the fuck would I be showing working girls that you got to pay for? So why would I be promoting Come to Brazil, the women are great, they're fun, they're easy to be around, and they working girls. Come on, bro, stop being fucking stupid. So, I just had to make that video. I don't give a fuck if this video goes viral or not, but y'all niggas need to understand. Stop giving a fuck what other dudes do. If they wanna travel for whatever reason, let them niggas travel, bro. <laughs> like, let them travel. Like, what the fuck do y'all care about? If they lame as fuck, if they whatever, fuck you want to say that should be one less nigga you got to worry about in your way to be dealing with the bitches in the states so you should be happy these niggas leaving right you would think stop giving a fuck bro whatever reason they want to travel let these niggas travel if they tired of dealing with not even just the females in the states because that's just one piece of the pie nigga there's a lot of fucking bullshit that goes on in the states that niggas is just really tired of and it's just a it's just a fresh air of living I can tell you just alone, just living in Brazil for a year. And I've been in the States for 30 years, nigga. So just being here for a month, three weeks, two months was refreshing as fuck. Like instantly, bro. You feel it instantly. The energy, the vibes, everything instantly. The food, the people. So it's not even just about the females, bro. That's just one piece of the pie. Of course, that's just a bonus. But nigga, there's a lot of benefits for living overseas, bro. Anyways, stop giving a fuck. And for the niggas who travel, fuck them niggas. Like, bro, get your fucking passport. If you have not got it yet, do not let anybody discourage you from traveling and experiencing something new. These niggas who have so much shit to say about people who travel are crabs in a barrel, bro. They do not like the fact that you can do that shit. You know what I'm saying? So really it's just envy and hate. So travel, bro. I'm telling you, even if you travel for like three months, two months, four or five months, six months out of the year, and then you go back to the States, your whole mindset of everything will be different. Females, people, your way of life, your work ethic, all that shit, bro, is going to motivate you. I'm telling you, bro. If I'm lying, let me know in the comments. For y'all niggas who travel, let me know in the comments. For y'all that travel often, 
And once you go back to the state, the, the states, let me know how your mindset is after you get back to the states, bro. Because niggas who don't travel don't understand a shit thing we saying, bro. It's like speaking Chinese to them. They don't understand shit. So, like I told y'all before, females are a small piece of the problem. But the niggas is who you got to worry about the most, bro. I'm out this bitch.